dispatches questions and answers they wanted and this is the web server this is the aem so first request in the ip addresses of the uh, published instance and uh, you can actually see uh, how the re-rate urls can be yeah. see you guys have actually come across uh, some more uh, questions and answers i actually just uh, understood the entire aem concepts and uh, interview Hey, hi everyone. Hope uh, everyone is doing good. Uh, welcome to ITV. Um, thanks for your uh, comments, feedback and uh, engagement which you are doing over the years. Uh, our, uh, and for the past few weeks, it's been even more uh, engagement I have been seeing on the ITV. Uh, so very glad for that. And uh, in this video, I would like to cover a new topic which is uh, AEM dispatcher. So if you see um, the previous comments, people are actually requesting to cover AEM dispatcher. So in this video, I'll cover uh, AEM dispatcher and then uh, we can actually uh, cover all the interview questions and answers on AEM dispatcher. Okay, so if you see here, dispatchers questions and answers, they wanted um, some other things also they have started asking uh, in AM dispatcher. So, yeah, see, can you explain dispatcher? Yeah. So, in this video, I'll clearly explain uh, AM dispatcher. Uh, basically, what is dispatcher? Why we use dispatcher and all. So, basically, if you see um, AM, AM is a Java based, uh, um, you know, tool. Basically, it has a Java based uh, servlet container, which is called Jetty. And whenever request comes to AEM, uh, it will actually be uh, served from the AEM, uh, uh, this thing, uh, servlet container. But um, what is the purpose of uh, dispatcher when you already have AEM which is uh, providing the responses? So basically what AEM do whenever request comes, okay, uh, whenever request comes, um, it will be going to Sling Resource resol Resolver and from Sling Resource Resolver, it will go to uh, component, content node, and from content node, it will go to corresponding uh, uh, HTML and it will render. Suppose if you refresh the page again, uh, would it actually go to AM publish? Yes, again, it will go to AM publish, compile the same component, compile the same HTML, compile, uh, render the response. So as many number of times you do refresh on the same page, uh, it will be like so much time or performance or load on AM to render the same thing. So there is a concept in, uh, uh, in um, this applications uh, that you know there is a web server. What is web server is? Web server is basically HTML uh, renderer. It doesn't have any servlet uh, execution or uh, servlet dispatchment anything. It will just uh, take the path, get the HTML which is stored in its folder structure and render it. So web servers are, there are many web servers in the uh, open source world. Apache web server is one of them. And Microsoft has IIS server and all. So what AEM architect people will started is uh, keeping a HTML renderer, which is a web server in front of publish, will actually make the rendering more uh, faster if it's just a simple refresh. So what they have asked is um, um, keeping uh, a web server. So if you see here in this screen, so these are the... Uh, um, requests that are coming and this is the web server this is the AEM so first request comes to the uh, web server okay it will have the HTML of those parts already stored in static HTML if it will check if it is there in the static HTML for the parts which are requesting from the visitors if it is not there then only it will go to the CQ CQ will have uh, uh, its layout engine which will get the data from component HTML JCR and then give it to the dispatcher and then dispatcher will store the data in the uh, static HTML after storing, then it will retrieve. So sec next request onwards, it will come to the static HTML of the dispatcher and will be served. Doesn't even come to this uh, AEM server. So it will be uh, more uh, faster, basically, I would say more uh, uh, easier and less load on AEM. And there could be questions like, suppose if the page is updated on the AEM, uh, if it is serving from the same static HTML, it will not be the latest content on the visitors, right? So how do we solve that problem? For that, we have dispatcher flush uh, concept, which is actually uh, 
uh, a agent on the AM, whenever some nodes are updated on AM, we can actually um, uh, we can actually if you see this uh, flow, this is the correct flow. When the document request comes, dispatcher will see is the request cacheable or not? Yes. It is. Is it cached or not? Yes. Then is it up to date or not? Yes. Then from the cache it will serve. If it is not up to date, get it from the AM. If it is not cached, get it from the AM. Is it not cacheable? Get it from the AM. Okay. Then it will render from cache. So that is it. The auto invalidation purpose is like uh, you will have uh, a dispatcher agent uh, yeah, and uh, which can actually um, trigger uh, removal of the static HTML from the web server. So if you see here, and uh, dispatcher is actually used for not only caching, load balancing also. If you see here, one dispatcher has three uh, AEM uh, CQ instances. So what will these instances uh, are doing? Uh, the request can be divided between these instances. If there are 10 requests, incoming requests, uh, 